All right, this is uh, your teacher, Mr. J, and we're going to talk here today about uh, doing a shuffle beat in Reaper. So I'll just get right to it. You know this part already. We're going to insert virtual instrument on a new track, and we're going to select, of course, sample tank, because that's what we've been using. In the sample tank, you know, I figured this out. We can do a little search for a kit, come up with all the different kits. Today I'm going to use the Alt Rock kit just so that I can get a basic basic drum kit. And while that's loading, basically what we're going to work on today is the shuffle beat. And using the shuffle beat, we're going to be uh, swinging those eighth note hi-hats. Those eighth note hi-hats will kind of swing. They won't be straight. They're going to be in triplets. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. We're going to start, like with the other beats, we're going to start with one measure, insert a new MIDI item, double click in here. Hopefully you can hear that okay. We've got our kick there. We've got our hi-hat. There's our hi-hat right there. Okay. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to change this. If it's already on straight, change it to triplet eighth. Okay. So triplet eighth, it means that you're going to have one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplets in a measure. So here's my hi-hat again, and I'm just going to draw in a bunch. Maybe I'll copy and paste these out for simplicity. And then scroll this over a little bit so I can loop it. And this is what we got so far. A little hard to tell that it's a triplet bead. So one thing that I'm going to do is put a little emphasis on the first of the triplet beats. Now we're going to have the kick to do that anyways, but this will help. So I'm going to select two other triplet beats. I'll scroll these down just slightly in terms of strength. Oh, did the wrong one. I'm going to undo. I'll select these two. Scroll them down just a little bit. Select these two. Do the same thing. These two do the same thing, and these two, and then we'll take a listen to them and see what it sounds like. You can kind of hear that now, but the really thing that's uh, the thing that's really going to help it is to is to basically put in our our kick and snare on the straight quarter beats. So we've got kick, kick, and then our snare. I think it's this one snare. Okay, let's listen to this one now. Now you'll really be able to hear it swing. Got that? If we can hear that enough. Okay, now like with our other beats, I'm going to copy this out one time. I'm going to go into my second one. I'm going to add a little extra kick drum to lead in. So I just dragged a kick drum over into the last eighth triplet. And now when we play this part back, this is what it sounds like. Got that? Okay. Now we're going to copy this out, and I'm going to do something slightly different in the very last one. Maybe put in a couple of toms can find them. And maybe a crash up here someplace. So this is what the whole beat will sound like now. Right, copy those out. Take this one for a little intro, and I think as my intro, I will maybe take out just a few things and just use the kick and hi hat on the quarters. And so this is what my intro. But you could do something different if you want to. And then for my outro, I'm going to take that, chop, slide, double click, 
pull over a couple of things, including a, a crash here. Delete the other things. Just a really simple ending crash. And this is what the whole thing should sound like without looping it. <clears throat> Hear that shuffle beat? Again, the hi-hats are what really make it a shuffle. Kick snares on their basic rock kind of beat. And there you go, shuffle beat and reaper.